Hello everyone, Tim here. Today I have a box from Orbit DVD and inside I have the Columbia Classics Volume 4 and then some other stuff which I'll show you. But we're going to unbox that Columbia Classics. I was going to do it as its own video, but I got the other stuff in here too. So I figured I'll show you all of that, but we'll also see everything that's inside that Columbia Classics because the first three sets are pretty great and I'm excited for this one. Alrighty, grab the trusty utility knife. Try not to cut myself. I actually cut myself pretty bad with a utility knife when I was younger too. But uh, make it through this. Got it all cut. We got the receipt. I always love that Orbit throws that in at just as if you were just purchasing in the store. But let's see. Toss this stuff up. Well, not toss, but put this stuff off to the side. We're going to go over that stuff after we look at this right here box otherwise toss that back there this is what we care about right now so there it is columbia classics volume four we're gonna look at what they all look like together too i like how they change all the different colors but yeah let's open this thing up i'm pretty excited the uh these sets they do really well because they don't just take a movie that hasn't been on 4k and shove it on 4k and that's it they generally throw in quite a bit of special features and everything so we will take off this show you the back really quick not that i this these things never mean anything to me i toss these j card things that's uh that's trash but look at that box it is nice i will say it's a green but it's it's you see it better now popping as green, but it's kind of an understated dark, very, very dark green. It doesn't pop as a green as well as, say, the other ones pop as blue or red. Uh, I, I like it, though. It is nice. And there's the back. It is nice, but it is a very dark green. Just as with all the other Columbia Classics set, magnetized opens like that. We've got movies on that side. The Columbia symbol with the book inside. We're going to take a look at that. And we've got movies at that side. We're going to look at all of that. Something I do appreciate with the Columbia Classic sets too is they always start with what's the oldest movie. And as you go across, you get to the newest movie that's in the set. I think that's kind of a cool little touch. Uh, granted, do I put them back in the same order? We'll see. All right, so first one up in this set. We're going oldest to newest is His Girl Friday, which is a very good movie that I thought I owned the Criterion and apparently didn't. I don't know I don't know why I never had it. I swore to God I had it, but it wasn't logged in my app. So now I have it with the, uh, with the 4K. I just kind of perplexed. But yeah, very nice slip. The green definitely stands out. I feel a little bit more on the slip covers than it does on the box. But pop it out, and there is the artwork. And there is the special features. These these come like classics. They load these discs. Uh, very nice. The disc inside was was loose, but appears to be completely fine. Just jumped out of there a little bit, but that is the disc artwork. And yeah, definitely excited to check this one out in 4K. I'm sure the the Criterion is already like a great transfer, but. Uh, this should look awesome. This is a really good movie. So I'm really excited that this got included. Uh, I'm always up for more Cary Grant in 4K. Next up, we have the classic uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Uh, that cast list. I mean, you have some of the all-time greats in there. And front and back of the slip. And then look at that. That is very nice. I have this on... Gosh, I can't remember which label I have this. I do have this on Blu-ray already, though. But now I have it upgraded to uh, to 4K. Looks very nice. It's not as loaded as the other one in special features, but it, it's got special features. And again, the disc. The disc just, like, popped right out. Uh, that's the second one. The 4K disc just popped immediately out. But that is the disc artwork. And definitely looking forward to checking out this 4K. This box is full of some heavy hitters with dramas and such. I don't know how many are sellers, per se. They're not taxi drivers or social networks and stuff. But these are great, great movies. Guess who's coming to dinner? 
and we got Kramer versus Kramer. That's a pretty heavy hitter. I don't think it's a box seller per se, but that's the front and back of the slip. That's, I, I don't think it's full of too much in the way of box sellers, but damn good movies though. So there we have the front. This one is a little less on the special features to be honest, but some of the other releases more than make up for it. But yeah, uh, so far, I mean, it's three killer movies. I don't think any of those three sell the box to many people, but still great choices for this. Next one up is pretty cool because it's John Carpenter representation in these sets. This one, I... If there's going to be box sellers, it's in the second half. This isn't talked about in the upper echelon of Car Carpenter movies. It's not talked about in the same way as The Thing and They Live and Christine and Halloween, etc. But Starman is a darn good one. Very cool one to have in there. really is. So I got the front and the back. And then we're going to show the back. But this has a really awesome addition that is honestly the coolest in this box. So we're going to open this up. We've got the 4K disc for the movie, but this is this is wild. Uh, I, I guess I didn't read up on this going in, but uh, Starman the Complete Series. This was, I think it was a one season show included as well. Uh, that's, that is wild. So there is disc one is uh, episodes one through 11 and disc two is 12 through 22 the entire tv show is freaking included in here you got a little pamphlet with the uh episode guide that is that is tremendous uh starman the tv show in hd for the for the first time included within this uh if there's anything that's a box seller this is pretty cool, and maybe for Carpenter fans, uh, this is awesome. I'm a Carpenter fan. I am pretty hyped. I actually didn't realize. I guess I should have read the uh, the whole, uh, what would it be, press release that Starman TV show would also be in here. That's sick, man. That is really freaking awesome. I had no, no idea. I had no clue. So big thumbs up for that inclusion. You didn't have to throw something like that in, but you did. That's so damn cool. Movie number five is a Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan classic with Sleepless in Seattle. This is a really cool addition. Again, I don't know how much this one is a box seller. Very, very good movie. I don't know how many people were clamoring for the 4K, but it's it's a great movie. So I'm not complaining. Uh, so yeah, front and back the slip. And then we've got front of the movie, back, which this one I didn't actually look at the special features first. Uh, there's, there's not a lot. There's not a lot. That Starman makes up for everything, but, no, there's, there's, it kind of ranges, I guess, depending on the movie, how much special features, but that Starman one, I can't get over that one, but, yeah, great movie right here. And it would help if I showed the inside of the thing, too. Uh, that is the disc artwork inside. All right, last one up is another one that is kind of taking the, 4K upgrade choice away from Criterion. Criterion had Punch Drunk Love. Very, very good Adam Sandler movie. Not his traditional type of movie. Uh, definitely one of his more well-acted movies. But we have a 4K for Punch Drunk Love. And again, I don't know how much this one is a seller either. This isn't the, the Adam Sandler stuff that people clamor for. It's a great movie. Uh, but... I don't, not much of this box is a seller to, I guess, the mass audiences. But anyways, front, back, I guess they needed that, like, taxi driver and movies like that that could really sell it. I hope it, I hope the box sells well. I, I want to see a box number five, but, I, oh god. I opened it up, both discs loose, both. This, almost every one of them had a loose disc. Almost every single one. That's not great. Uh, disc looks fine. I don't know if the hubs are just a little bit more shallow. And the 4K looks fine too. But 
every single freaking one had a loose disc. That's wild. But that is the disc artwork. And now it's time to check out the book, which the one thing I will say, I'm not a fan. So they put this like, this is a, a thing that the Columbia Classics do, but there's that little like notch and that notch is supposed to be the like pull it up notch. But the book is down there enough and this is like swinging around, so I gotta get this out. But you, you have to like almost spread this just to pull it out. That's just a, a thing with it. I, I guess they put that notch there thinking, oh, it'll open easy, and it, it, it doesn't. You need to kind of spread the cardboard a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, that thing was swinging around, but the boxes are sturdy as heck. I mean, you saw that swinging around, and it's fine. But here is the book. You got a bunch of quotes and all that. This is going to be structured exactly the same as all the other ones. Pictures and essays and stuff on the different movies that are included in the set. Uh, you can, I'm not going to show everything in depth. You'll see when or if you get the set. But uh, it ends it also with more quotes. And it is, how many pages do we got? 80. It ends it with the last one is the theatrical posters. And it's 80 pages long. So it's a, it's a nice little inclusion of a book. So that is Columbia Classics Volume 4. Let's see how they all look together. My gosh, this feels so precarious stacking them like this. But yeah, this number one, it still ha it has that matte feel, whereas the rest kind of switch to a gloss. But as we go down, now th the green shows up, I guess, a little bit better before it wasn't. It's still a dark shade of green, but yeah, it they all look really good. That black and gold of the first still, it's, I think it's the nicest, but yeah, black, red, blue, green. I wonder what color is next. And now we're going to check out the rest of the stuff. I got two bubble things here full. I think I got five more items or four, something, four, four more items, I think. So I've got some steel books here. We have the Footloose steel book which I'm excited to check out this 4K. I don't think I heard the best things about it, but Footloose is a fun movie. I enjoy it. And that is a, it's a really cool design. There's the J card. I'm not opening this one right now. And then we have Willy's Wonderland. Kind of neat that this got a, got a 4K steelbook, to be honest. Uh, this is a Scream Factory right there. And that's the back. You know what? Screw it. Let's open. Let's open these two anyways. You know, I wasn't. I didn't watch anybody's uh, unboxings for this thing. I was not expecting. I, I removed the J card, and there's, I guess, a poster here. Uh, remove this, this goo, and that's the backside. This is a very nice steel book. I I do I do like that. Remove the digital, digital copy, and we've got inside right there, which will that will fit so let's check out this why would they not have put this inside the the case then it's a weird thing to put it behind the j card so it yeah it has a little little poster that i will not i will not hang but it it fits i mean yeah it, it fits there it fits in there why the hell would you put it behind the j card that's a weird choice Next one up, checking out that full steel book. We've got the Willy's Wonderland, which I should be able to just open. Yep, there is no digital copy inside. That is the inside. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool that it, it actually, it got a 4K steel book. I, I guess I wouldn't have expected a movie like this to get one, but that's cool. And I do dig the artwork. And then we have two movies in here. Take that, toss that. There we go. Uh, we've got... Eileen, which this is, if I remember right, this is just a uh, pretty much made-on-demand burn disc. But I ended up getting this on uh, Apple TV or a Apple iTunes or whatever. And I didn't know when or if it would get a, a Blu-ray because not, not all of Neon stuff. This is Neon, right? Yeah, it is Neon. Not all of Neon stuff comes to Blu-ray or especially right away. Uh, this, for being... The stars that they are, I expected like a bigger release, but 
not much fanfare to it, and this is probably going to be just a, yep, it's a burn disc. Uh, I, I knew it was going to be a burn disc, though. One way to know that with the Made on Demand that are burned is right there on the spine. Come on, focus. It will say Blu-ray disc written out. Uh, if it doesn't have the Blu-ray like logo that says Blu-ray, uh, that that means this isn't like official to use the Blu-ray logo. They just, it's a Blu-ray disc. It's a burned Blu-ray disc, but it will say Blu-ray disc. So I knew it was going to be a burned one, but st it's still on physical media officially. So that's something. And last one up, we have the Invasion of the Body Snatchers Arrow box set, 4K box set. I already had this in 4K from Scream Factory, but kind of like Carrie, uh, I prefer Arrow. I, if, I, if you give me the choice, I'm going to get the Arrow version. Uh, I'll have to compare how they are. And I will say, as much as this is a damn good movie, I do actually like the original one a little bit more. But that doesn't take away that this is great. But... This is different for Arrow. They don't, I think they've only done this a handful of times with these big box sets, but normally it will come out the side from here, but this is actually a slip. So the big box set has a slip on it and then it comes out of the side. I don't know if that's something they're gonna do more of, but we got in there and then we got the traditional, you know, the poster, the book, with the standard Arrow fare you get, but, uh, for a great movie, I do like this little touch, though. That is that is kind of nice, and I'm not even a slip person, but I think that's kind of a nice addition to, like, a nice premium box set. But, yeah, I'll have to compare this to the Scream release. Uh, either way, I like Arrow more, so I'm more. if I had to pick a company, I'd rather Arrow stuff anyways. But, yeah, that is, that's everything. A nice box set, some steel books, a uh, nice Arrow set, and a made-on-demand movie. Uh, but yeah, overall, good haul. Thank you, Orbit, as always. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got some information. If you didn't already see what the inside looks like, I guess now you do. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.